Yo, what's up, guys? T Triple over here, and welcome to Throwback Thursdays, where we react to something nostalgic. <laughs> so today we're gonna listen to the best 200 songs that defined my childhood. Um, I know that some of you are from earlier and from later on, um, but we're gonna react to the 90s, okay? Which was my childhood, um, but. If you guys want me to react to another year, maybe the 2000s, maybe 2010s, maybe 1990s. Wait, that's what we're doing now. Maybe 1980s, 1970s, 1960s. Let me know also in the comments. Okay, before we start, look at this. 85% of you who watch my channel, 85%, that's a high number, are not subscribed. Why? <laughs> Notifications can't reach subscribers who disabled notifications on the YouTube app. So make sure you turn on the notification. But 85% of you are not subscribed? Come on. I feel like we, we could have gotten the 50K already or, you know, even maybe 100K. Come on, guys. 14%. Let's, let's, let's try to get that, you know, higher. Please. <laughs> I know you guys like watching me, so go ahead and click that subscribe button. You know, I'm get I'm having a hard time getting to 50k here, and you know, uh, I'm 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 already um fulfill fulfilling my promise because this Saturday we are having a Dimash concert. But come on, guys, look at that. Let's get that to 50 percent, huh? Let's try that. Okay, I know you guys are gonna subscribe now, so subscribe and like. Let's do this. Um, before we start, let me do my, um, I'm gonna do the rap song for you guys. Let me just get the beat. And I don't know where you're watching from, so here we go. Yeah. Sala metes B, olá, tudo bem que tal? Bonjour, ça va, ciao, tutti, tutti, posso, guten tag, v gets, moin, moin, uh, hundred, lekker, apacabar, Indonesia, como está? Filipinas, hallo, hallo, wa, salam, chest, yak, shamash, anaya, seyo, daimingo, ni hao, chungo, dobardan, marhaban, mirhaban, namaste, namaska, sradzwitze, privet sem, ahoy. Shalom, siya jona pot, zdravo, zdrave, ti sua ti, sin chao, sao bona lumela. I messed up, I know. Konnichiwa, beisha pa, buna, sveiki, bershendeche, barev zez, hey, and howdy, y'all. Okay, so I hope all of you have been greeted in your language, and let's do this. Let's go. Throwback Thursdays. Cause you had a bad day. You take a walk down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. Let's see how many I know. I know this one. That's two. Got a melody in my head. I'm singing that. I think it's actually easier if I. It's easier if I count the ones I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to open up my calculator here and I'm going to count the ones I don't know. Because I think that's going to be easier. Beside me. Everything that I wanted. I used to... Bruno Mars, B.O.B. Where is B.O.B.? You know, I haven't heard from him. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him, but he was big in the day. Um, Avril Lavigne is one of those artists that never grows old. She never gets old. <laughs> Who doesn't know Green Day, right? You know, American Boy is a song that I actually um, didn't know in the beginning. 
And then Timothy DeLaghetto. Do you guys remember Timothy DeLaghetto? He made a, not a parody, but a, it was a parody, but a version, Asian Boy. And that's when I heard it, I was like, wow, this is so dope. And then I discovered that it was actually a, a, a parody. The White Stripes. Guys, so far, 100%. Oh, Chester. Maroon 5. Huge back in the 90s. Still today, you know, they do a few things. But they were huge all over the place. Oh, they didn't put I'm yours. So far, 100%. What about you guys? Do you know all of these songs? Avril again. Where are these guys? Wait a second, this just came... Wait a second. What I've done, is what I've done from the 90s? Huh, wait a second. Okay, so here's what's... We're, we're listening to the best 200 songs that defined your childhood. And then in my head, I just thought, okay, so they're going to talk about the 90s because that was my childhood. Okay, okay, so this isn't necessarily the 90s. My bad. Eminem. So Fort Minor is actually uh, Mike Shinoda from Linkin Park and his band. Panic at the Disco. Yeah. <laughs> oh, remember this? Scrolling and trying to get me right and dirty good memories. Oh. Okay. Vanessa Carlton. Wow, where is she now? You know, um, this music video shows her going through a lot of different places. And then there's a specific place that I know. Low Rider. You know, Flo Rida is one of those, um, I like it, but I, I'm not a big fan, but my wife really likes Flo Rida, and yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Flo Rida is a little bit like Pitbull, but I like Pitbull. I don't know, I like it, but it's not, you know, yeah, you know, it's not my first choice. Sean Paul. For for oh, this is Akon. Um, for a long time, um, Sean Paul was like my favorite, and Akon as well. Sean Paul and Akon were my favorite singers um, back in the day. Neo, also Neo. Oh, man. You know, I used to think Neo was like the best dancer, especially um, because of. Is it Beautiful Monster? No, it's Beautiful Monster. He doesn't dance. Okay, so the one I'm thinking of is Stronger. Is it Stronger? No, sorry, Closer. Get closer. And then he starts dancing, and I was like, whoa, this is the best dancer. That, in my person, you know, yeah, back in the day, it was Usher, Neo, 
um they could they they were great dancers also just in Tim timberlake he had a, a phase where he was like you know pop locking and, and all of that let's see if i can guess the okay so this is um big sean sean Kiss kingston sorry <laughs> sean kingston Tattoo. They're from Russia, aren't they? I remember Tattoo. Um, they had actually two hit songs, but then they just disappeared. I, I think they're from Russia. I'm not really sure. Day. Oh. You know, I like Dido, um, thank you, as much as I like Eminem's Stan. So this is uh, the P Pussycat Dolls. Uh, the Pussycat Dolls. You know how I you know, I always had a problem with this song. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest because um, the lyrics say, I must stick with you. So it's kind of like uh, an obligation just because they're kind and treat you um, nobody's gonna treat me better. I must stick with you. It, 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 back in the day, it was something that really, really bothered me because it's like, hey, I can't do any better, so I must stick with you, right? I, I don't know if you get where I'm coming from. But, but many people, you know, um, think it's romantic. I just had a problem with that. I mean, you know, it's not about... I don't know. It just feels like, um, hey, since I can't do anything, I, I can't do any better. So, you know, I got to stick with you. And I know, I know I might be misinterpreting the lyrics here, but still, it it's just the way it's phrased and the wording of it, of the lyrics. It just had me, you know, on edge sometimes when I listened to it. I was like, oh, come on. You, you know, if you don't want to be with a person or you can't be, you, you got to be with a person because you love her, not because, you know, you can't do any better or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It was just something that, um, yeah, I don't know. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Wait, I think I don't know Snow. I don't know the song. Okay, Evanescence. Okay, so it didn't ring a bell, so I'm going to put that as one of the songs I don't know. So that's one. Wake me up. Rest in peace, Amy Winehouse. Real shady audio. I remember this. I remember him getting um, on stage. Um, I think it was the MTV Awards, and then he 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 came from the back of the stage, not the stage, the the auditorium, <laughs> and then a lot of people that looked like him had the same hair, same shirt just followed him onto the stage. Akon. This is actually a sample. This um, song Lonely is actually an old song where, which he sampled, but it was huge. James Blunt. You're beautiful. Gorillas. Fireflies. This fireflies is big on on 
Well, it was big on Vine. Maybe it's big on TikTok. I don't know. Oh, Kylie Minogue. You know, here's the thing. Back in the day, I had a full playlist. I had more than a thousand songs. Um, Three Days Grace was in it. And I used to write novels or stories or fiction. And I used to listen to it. Actually, I used to write books and series. I used to write episodes um, and it was it was it was cool because I used to listen to many different songs while I wrote and it, it got my creative juices flowing. And so back in the day, I had a lot of songs on my playlist. So I remember most of them. Actually, I'll, there's only one that I haven't heard until now. Oh, fix you. I love this one. Just carry on, don't mourn, rejoice every time you hear the sound, sound of my voice. voice. Just know that I'm looking the calling. I'd go wherever you would. Here's the thing about the calling. This this kid, his voice does not fit his voice. Wait, his face does not fit his voice. He's got like a, a thick voice, but his face, you know, it's so he, he, I don't know. It looks he looks so young. So here's, I also have a story about v, um, this song by Coldplay. Um, I watched a video of Shmo Yoho and he said he actually composed a song that is very similar to that one. Next up, um, this is Outcast. Miss Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Timberland. Okay, Chris Brown, yeah, of course. Um, as I said, anything Michael Jackson inspired, I love. So Chris Brown is definitely, uh, you know, in 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 my playlist. Um, Timberland, I have a story about this as well. As an English teacher, I don't, I do not approve the way I are, but you know, and this is something that gets on my nerves because uh, my students would come up to me and say, "Hey." But there are songs that say this and that. You know, every song that teaches wrong English gets on my nerves because my students will, will, will you know, insist that, hey, it's it's the right way. It's grammatically correct because our, um, singers are out there singing it. <sighs> you know. And it reminds me of a story of uh, my university teacher when I was studying to be a, a teacher. Um, uh, with a Cambridge system, um, somebody said, hey, um, you know that love is a state verb, so you can't say loving, because if you say, I'm, I'm loving you, it means that it might be temporary, and tomorrow you won't love anymore, so it's not a good way to use it. And then somebody said, hey, you know what, but McDonald say, I'm loving it. And then he looked at us, and he was like, well, McDonald serves junk food and uses junk English. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a diss on McDonald's. Jordan Sparks. Hey. This era, it was just Timberlake and Timberland. The two were inseparable. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine. I also have a song. <laughs> I also have a story about um, this specific video. Um, there's a site uh, in Brazil called charges.com 
and they did something with this a parody. Eve or Evie and Gwen Stefani. This is no doubt, <laughs> no, undoubtedly, uh, I was trying to make a pun with no doubt, but un undoubtedly a great um, duo, let's say. They say music can alter moves and talk to you. You can it load it for you and do Well, if you can, I'll meet you halfway. Black Eyed Peas. Back in the day, Black Eyed Peas were huge, enormous, like really, really huge. Never meant to hurt you. <laughs> Big Eminem fan. I remember this. 50 Cent and Justin Timberlake. As I have said, I was a huge Justin Timberlake fan. And 50 Cent, I... Well, his first song, you know, I didn't really, really like. But then I, I started... Um, I don't know. Yo, yo, go shawty. It's your birthday. I, I thought it was kind of like lame, but then when I started listening to more 50 Cent, I became a huge, huge fan. I knew every Sean Paul song by head. Buster Rhymes, Mariah Carey, Flip Mode Squad. Yona Lewis, amazing as well. In the music, the moment you want it, you better never let it go. Oh, you only get one shot. Britney Spears, my wife, huge fan. Um, Eminem, Lose Yourself was the, you know, the go-to rap. When I wanted to practice my rapping, <laughs> I would go and, you know, sing Lose Yourself. I'm not going to sing it to you guys, but, you know, what do you mean? Sugar, sugar. I remember this. But I, I think this is the only song I, I heard of Baby Bash. You know, back then, Chris Brown was so innocent. Now he's just like a bad boy, you know. Akon. And Eminem. When this came out, I was like, oh, you know, because Akon was one of my favorite singers alongside um, Neo and, you know, Sean Paul. And then when Eminem came onto Akon's track, because Eminem was my fa favorite rapper, I think still is maybe. When they both did a song together, I was like, oh, snap. And they didn't do only just, wait, did they do another one? I think they did. Can't remember now because you know a lot of things going through my mind. Oh. I had a song, um, Hoobastank, 
there was a scene in one of my series that had this song. And if you if you've watched the the music video, it is quite sad as well. I think I remember Audio Slave. I don't know. It sounds it sounds very familiar though. I'm going to add it to the songs I don't know. So we have two songs I don't know so far. And of course, uh, I talked about Neo dancing, I talked about Usher dancing, uh, Justin Timberlake dancing, but I think up to this day, I think the best dancer is Chris Brown, um, especially, um, there is, what, what, what music video is it? There's one that he dances so much, and it's so cool. We gotta do that, maybe. We gotta react to that, maybe on Work It Wednesdays. Think. Come, come, my lady. You're my butterfly. Sugar, baby. <laughs> I mean, I used to like that song, but it is kind of cringy, you know. But okay. Eminem. Sorry. Justin Timberlake. What goes around comes around. This was a direct. Um, this was like a kind of like a direct message to Britney Spears. Well, supposedly, allegedly. Three doors down. Yep. Oh, Shaggy! Oh. Shaggy was, to be honest, I'm going to be on really honest with you guys. Shaggy was the first CD I ever owned. Um... <laughs> I know, right? But I had a Shaggy CD, uh, Mr. Bombastic. Hey, Nelly Furtado from Portugal. Olá pessoal de Portugal. Um, Nelly Furtado was one of the. I don't know. She had like many different songs um, that like this song that she did with Timberland. Um, I actually did a parody back in the day. I think it was like 2008, 2009 or I don't know. I don't remember the year, but I did a parody. I never launched it I, and I never will because it's deleted. But I, I, I was doing YouTube back in the day as well, but I was very shy. It was very um, insecure, so I didn't do anything. I just wanted to, but I, I, I didn't. Sierra, one, two step. Missy Elliott. Miss Independent. There we go, Neo. Holla back, girl. And now Nelly Furtado, this song, Promiscuous Girl, I didn't do a parody, but this dude on YouTube did a parody. His name was, um, wow. I just, what was his name? He was like the pioneer of Brazilian YouTube and he did a parody with the song and it blew up. I think maybe that was the inspiration for me to do, uh, you know, a follow up. Um, Guilherme Zaiden. Guilherme Zaiden. He was um, one of the first YouTubers who blew up in Brazil. This was back in the day when YouTube wasn't anything. YouTube didn't even have like a monetization system in Brazil, a partner system. It was just people posting about their cats. And this dude came, he did something and he blew up. He was famous for some time, um, but then I, I think he didn't get the recognition that he should have. He was just a guy who blew up, who went viral. 
and well, he he was he did some Brazilian novellas, or he actually he was called for one or two. I don't know if he wanted to be an actor or what, but then he just gave up and he just disappeared. And then he did make a comeback after like I think fifteen years. No, wait, twelve years maybe. Um, he had his comeback, actually fourteen years maybe. Was it last year? Two years ago? I don't know. He he had his comeback, and um, he actually got hundred hundreds of thousands of views on his comeback, but then he gave up again. So I don't think he's into YouTube that much. You know, he just wanted to do something, and he got famous for it for a while, but then he just let go. But I don't think it was his passion. I mean, I know Foo Fighters, but I can't recognize this song. I love Foo Fighters. Okay, because I can't recognize it, I'll put it on the list of I, which I don't know. That's three up to now. Crimea River. Man, this mashup or this this both of them singing together. This was like whoa! Everybody went crazy when Shakira and Beyonce, <laughs> you know, um, joined up for this. I don't wanna live. I ain't gonna live for Okay, Usher, Lil John Ludacris. Love the song. The song was <laughs> we actually put the song in my wedding, I think. At the party, not you know, it was the <laughs> it was in, in 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 the after party. Um but this is the song from Hitch, which is one of my favorite songs with Will Smith. Sorry, one of my favorite movies that Will Smith did, I made. I, I think it's just a very nice rom-com. It's with Eva Mendes, Will Smith, and I know the... What is this guy's name? I forgot his name. What is his name? Um, Hitch, let's see. Uh, what is his name? Kevin James. There we go, Kevin James. It's a funny scene though. I love this song. Oh, Jerul. Jerul actually tried to Actually he 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 made a comeback with um Brazil. He made a few songs in Brazil, so and it was it was pretty good. I think it was with Vanessa Camargo, but you know, it wasn't that people weren't that excited. Oh, and ah, oh, no, never mind. I'm not going to talk about your rule. <laughs> it's just that I remembered a um, documentary. I think it was called Fire Festival. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to talk more about that. <laughs> See, they know they know what I mean. So I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Creed. If I fell off tomorrow, would you still love me? 50 Cent. If I didn't smell so good, would you still hug me? If I got locked up and sent this to a court. I think 21 Questions was... Um, was that type of song that actually got me to listen to more 50 Cent. So I really, really, um, I think 21 Questions what, was what flipped it around uh, with 50 Cent for me. And I think it was maybe one of my favorite 50 Cent songs. Next one, Shakira. Hips Don't Lie. You know that she can dance like this. She make a man want to 
Christmas. Wycliffe John, he has a, a song that was in my mind for a long time. Um, I, I remember the song, but I don't know the... the, the I'm not going to sing it because it, it talks about Gogo, Gogo Dancer. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't know Taylor Swift, right? But I wasn't a huge Taylor, uh, Taylor Swift fan. Outcast, I loved their comeback. But, you know, they, they need to make more songs. But I think the two clash a lot. Wait, I think I remember that song. But I need to listen to more of it, though. Because I can't remember the chorus, I'm going to put it to the songs that I don't remember. So that's four until now. Mario! The one, two. Thank you. Kanye West, you know, back in the day he was awesome. Nowadays he's intriguing. <laughs> Beyonce. Sorry. Do I know that song? I don't think so. I'm going to add it to the list. J-Lo. I had a J-Lo CD and it was this one. You know, together with my um, Shaggy CD, I also had this one. Love don't cost a thing. <clears throat> And I remember, um, oh, Stan, I remember when I was um, a kid, I used to listen to J-Lo and there's this song, I think it was the first song that she she actually swears. And I was like, oh, she's saying a bad word and I should, I, I would, you know, show it to my other friends. I'm like, oh, I, I felt like I had like the most explicit CD ever. And it, it had the word explicit on <laughs> the CD. So I don't know, it, it, it felt like it was... Um, you know, dangerous. I meant to write you sooner, but I just been busy. You said your girlfriend's pregnant now. How far along is she? Look. I just wanna feel real love. Okay, so this song I also have a story about, but I'm not gonna go into it. Um but ah, I'm not gonna go into it. Oh, remember this? Okay, so I have a story about um, candy shop as well. Um, when I was a kid and there were like these type of um, songs that were explicit and I used to um, make up lyrics so that I could sing it. So I think, I, I don't know if I remember, but I, I think it was like, I'll take you to the candy shop. I'll let you buy the jelly tots. <laughs> Something like that. It was... Um... I don't remember it, but I know it had something with jelly tots. Um, keep going till you close the shop. Whoa, you know, something like that. I don't remember all the phrases, but kid stuff, you know. Oh, I love this one because it has a Grease um, reference. Mesmerize. 
One of my favorite Jiru songs with the Shanti. Oh! They actually put the Spanish version. I, I always use whenever, wherever to kind of like um, help my students remember wherever, whenever. This is from um, the movie with um, Hugh Jackman. What's the name? Oh, I can't remember the name now. But this is from a very nice movie with um, Hugh Jackman. Justin Timberlake, Rihanna. And I love this. Um, I remember back in the day when when this came out, um, I was angry at some kids who were saying, um, uh, you know, I I was recommended a song by Michael Jackson, which ripped her off, something like that. I, I don't know. And I, I was angry. I know they were, I think they were messing around, but uh, she sampled Michael Jackson. Mama say, Mama say, Mama. Uh, but people were saying that Rihanna came up with this and I was like, oh, you you did not just say that. I was so angry. I remember back in the day. And Rihanna, I, I as you guys know, um, I've mentioned here um, already that I grew up listening to um, Caribbean music, African music, um, hip hop, um, many types of different songs. And I first heard Rihanna, I think that's when she actually blew up with Pond de Replay. You know, and ever since I heard that song, I was like, oh, this, this is nice, upon the replay, upon the replay. Um, but she also had um, Tears of the Sun, is that is that the name of the song? I can't remember, but, uh, you know, I, the first time I heard upon the replay, I was like, hey, Mr. DJ, upon the replay, and I was like, oh, I was vibing to it, and I was like, yep, Rihanna is in my playlist, and she's done very well for herself, you know, she grew a lot. Gotta get that. Nickelback. I mean, I used to like Nickelback, but nowadays everyone, I don't know, Nickelback became kind of like a... <laughs> I don't know, it became a meme, but they're still good. I like them. I used to listen to Photograph as well. Look at this photograph. And I was like, oh, this is so, you know, I, I liked it. I still do though. But it's not like I, I listen to them all the time. Christina Aguilera, Lil' Kim, Mia, and Pink. I remember this was so R-rated, but it was on the TV. Red Hot Chili Peppers. So, if I were a boy, this song by uh, Beyonce helps me a lot in class. But um, there's another song. Um, that doesn't help me, which is the same. Um, if I were, it's the conditional. Um, but then there's another one, if I was, or if he was, or I don't know, something like that. That doesn't help. Umbrella. This was all over the radio station, and I was like, ah, oh, this song is getting on my nerves. But I like it. I learned how to play Umbrella on the, on the keyboard, though. Gary J. Blige. Say my name. Destiny's Child. Kelly Rowland has a great song, which is surprisingly next with Nelly. System of Down, yeah. Come on, I wish there were more. 
Oh, wait, let me just go back a little bit. Ashanti. This song has been in so many movies. I think this song was in um, Eddie Murphy's. There's this. There's a movie that he made where he's uh, an evil girlfriend. I think this song was there. I think she was like washing the car or something. Mary J. Blige, Blige, be without you. I love this actor. Oh, and I love this actress. She was, um, she's uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. She also had a song, um, actually a CD called Bare Naked. And I must admit that I had that CD. <laughs> I don't know why, but I had it. And I also love Jennifer Love Hewitt from the movie The Tuxedo with Jackie Chan. It's a nice movie. Britney Spears, I know every single song. Which I also had Britney Spears CD. I had a lot of CDs, now that I think of it. Um, Audio Slave. And Sync! You know, Becca is probably watching this. She grew up with me. We were we are childhood friends. And I know she's vibing with all of these songs. I know she knows all of these songs because back in the day we used to talk about these songs. And <laughs> just I just love this playlist. Same girl. I love this song, um, although, you know, the, the artist has been involved in some contra controversy. Um, you know, do you guys remember the music video I showed you where I was um, on the beach um, singing and I didn't want to show you guys? The, the, the initial idea of that music video was um, the lady that was actually um, who paired up with me for that music video she had a twin sister. So uh, what we were thinking was, you know what, we could um, make a video where I'm like with her and then you're also with her sister. But then we make people think that it's the same person. And then he came up and he was like, oh, so you're talking about like that video from um, R. Kelly, same girl. And I was like, no, wait, wait, this people have done that before. And I, I hadn't watched the video. And then when I watched it, I was like, oh, it, but it's R. Kelly and Usher, isn't it? It just credits R. Kelly here, though. Backstreet Boys, why not? I also had a Backstreet, ba <laughs> Backstreet Boys um, CD. I had lots of cd now that, now that i think about it but i did i did have a, a cd case and it was full um but i'm very grateful for backstreet boys because many many of my english students say hey backstreet boys were actually my teachers so i was like oh this is nice and because of backstreet boys i actually um made a rap song um teaching english which you guys have probably already heard which is this one over here um let me just show you guys the intro uh there we go it's this one wait why did it not show up here we go which actually became my intro so uh what i say there is uh which means if you want to learn english um which means um, now it's your turn. So um, B 
because of the comments that I used to get from, you know, Backstreet Boys were my teacher growing up, my English teachers. Um, and I was like, you know, people are inspired by music, so I should make music to teach English. And I, and that's what I did. Um, so, yeah. J-Lo. That's not fair. We saw her back then. <laughs> But it was in Spanish. Oh, this was when she was dating Ben Affleck. Oh, come on. Why do they always stop with System of the Down? In my... I'm having so much fun with this video. You guys have no idea. I think Throwback Thursdays will be the fun, um, the 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 what, what do you call it? The funnest. It will be the most fun I'll have because you know going back to my childhood. I think that's what I really love. <laughs> T Pain. A con, love it. Katy Perry. This was the song that, you know, made her blow up. I also have a story for this one. Oh, and it's the guy from. Um, okay, of course, this guy is also very famous, but um, Prison Break. I was a huge fan. Well, now that I'm looking back at this, I knew this guy was famous, but this guy in the middle here, I didn't I I didn't remember him in this video. He made uh many cool video uh, movies, but he made one in South Africa called Mr. Bones with Leon Schuster. And I've been a, you know, not a fan, let's say, but I've I've appreciated every uh, every film that he's been in. <laughs> yeah, this dude from Prison Break. Man, my, was it Michael Schofield, his name? I used to love Prison Break. When I saw this, I was like, man. <laughs> and yeah, I also have a, a story about uh, Mara Carey. We belong together, but not gonna get into it. And oh, Olympus Kid, keep rolling. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. This dude here from Prison Break. Doesn't he remind you of, um, Mike? Is it Mike from Suits? Just picture him with hair. If you ever watch Suits, you know what I'm talking about. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I used to love Limp Biscuit because Linkin Park... Oh, Kanye West. Linkin Park was a uh, rap rock, and then Limp Biscuit. I, I used to love him as well. Um, and there's also Corn. They also did rap rock. Um, Papa Roach. You know, lots of rap rock. I think that's where I got into rap. I remember this. And sync. <laughs> I remember this. I used to hate this song. It it just doesn't really have any lyrics. LL Cool J. J Lo. I love this song as well. Jamie Foxx. I'm so impressed with Jamie Foxx, the way he can act, sing. He has everything going on for him. Soldier Boy. I hope they, they feature his second song, which is, I think, better. Um, Kiss Me Through the Phone. Oh, sure. Blah, 
Jerul, Jennifer, Lopez. It's so interesting how far Lady Gaga has come. Um, if you guys have watched um, A Star Is Born, you're like, this woman is not the same. She changed a lot. She has become a, a diva in her own right. And just her voice, you know, it's enough. Because she she became mainstream um, with with these songs, you know. I think her first one, I can't remember which was her first big break, but she became a huge mainstream artist. And you, you, you can see that sometimes it's not only the voice that matters because she can sing, but, and she got an Oscar for um, A Star Is Born, but it's not only the voice. I think the industry wants you to be an entertainer, not only a good singer. So it, it's kind of sad that she went through a lot of different phases. It is, it's also good because, you know, she brought a lot of different um, perspectives and controversy to the table. But at the same time, with that much talent, you know, maybe like her voice should have um, been enough. But we all know that. That doesn't happen. Sometimes they have to do extra stuff, which worries me with Dimash, you know, because um, I'm afraid that if Dimash um, falls into this trap of, you know, becoming mainstream, he will change a lot, which is the example I'm giving of Lady Gaga, super talented. And she sings great, but she had to go through some hoops to get to the level that she is now, which is a diva status. And now she can she can pick up a microphone, sing, just showcase her voice, and people will listen. And how long do you think she had that talent for? You know, but she only became um, mainstream after she did she did a few wicked things, you know, but still. It's part of the game, right? But I don't know. I worry sometimes that Dimash will fall into the wrong hands. But he has a good head, you know. He has a good mind. He has a good family. He has a good manager. Manager, They all look out for him. But I know he wants to, to make it big worldwide, you know. And we're going to support him all the way. There are so many parodies back in the day. So... Oh... Alejandro Sanz, Shakira. Wow, Bedrock. This is the song that... Um, there are so many good artists, you know. Um, they're, that Back in the day, they weren't that known. Now they're huge. Um, Nicki Minaj, Drake, who else is it um, in it? Um, I don't know if Lil Jon is in it, but um, Young Money, everyone from Young Money, you know. I don't remember who else is in the song, but I know that there are so many people. And also, this song um, was, um, there was a version of the song with Timothy Delaghetto. I should react to that. You know, I should for Throwback Thursdays. Um, oh, back in the day, there were like so many good, good, good. Oh, well, today there are also good things, but, oh. So many rappers, there were so many, like, there was ciphers going on. Oh, it was so cool. I'm going to, maybe for next next time, I'm going to react to YouTubers from back in the day. I think that's the only song I know from Fantasia. I used to love Ignition. The remix.
Oh yeah, Lil Wayne is also in Bedrock. No, Lil Jon is not in Bedrock. Lil Wayne is. Was it paparazzi that that blew blew up? I know this song. So I know Cheryl Crow, uh, Cheryl Crow, and I know Kid Rock. It's Kid, because you know Kid Rock also raps, right? Yeah. Um, and I know these two, but picture, I, 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 I let me hear it again. Wait, Kid Rock is, of course, a rock, but I can't remember. Did did he rap? I can ju I I just remember. My name is Kid Rock. You know something like that, but can't remember if there is rap in the song, or I can't remember. As I said, like I wasn't a big Kid Rock fan. Um. Oh, I can't remember. Guys, I'm sorry if, if if I'm saying stuff wrong here. Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus back in the day, she was very Christian. Nowadays, I don't know. I think she's calmed down. But a few years back, she was going haywire. Oh, wow. Okay, so I also have a, a story about this one, She-Wolf. Um, there is this YouTuber who used to um, parody Obama. I think his name is Oman. Oman? Is it Oman? Something like that. Um, and he did a parody of She-Wolf. Nobody really liked that. Um, Is it Amon? Something like that. I can't remember. Let me see. Um, it's Obama. You can do whatever you like. You can do whatever you like. Oh, Alpha Cat. His name is Alpha Cat, but what is his n real name? I talked to him a few times, or maybe once or twice. I can't remember his name, but... Well, Alpha Cat. Oh, I can't believe this. I used to watch Alpha Cat like religiously, and now I actually have more views than him. This is so crazy. Although he is almost he also he almost has like um, one million views. Sorry, one million one million subscribers. I don't know why I don't have more subscribers. I get one million views a month, and <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You guys should subscribe more. Honestly, please. Um, and that's all. Those are all the songs. Guys, five songs out of 200. So I know 195 songs from that list. And it's been more than an hour. My goodness. Wow, where did the time go? Guys, I'm sorry that this took so long, longer than I expected. <laughs> but I, I had so much fun, you know, um, going back memory lane. You know, just... Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely my favorite video out of the the theme days. Um, kind of reminds me of when I did, when I used to do Dimash marathons, you know. But this isn't good for me because um, I was supposed to record other videos. I was supposed to do this like for 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then record other videos for <laughs> for Artist Day and Artist Week. And wow, and wow, this I, I'm actually very late to post this. I'm supposed to post this like in 20 minutes. Wow, guys, I'm sorry. So I'm going to end this now. This is actually today's video and I was supposed to record like record it in like 20 minutes, but it took longer than I expected. <laughs> I had so much fun with it. So sorry, guys, but I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please don't forget to like this video. Let me know which are, which songs are your favorite. And if you're not yet subscribed, please let's let's try to get that 50%, you know, 
85% is a high number. 14% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. That's 14%. Come on. If, if, if we get that to 50%, I'm probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure we would have gotten already like a hundred K maybe, you know, we need that play here, that play button. Okay guys, I'll see you. Peace out. Keep real. Bye-bye. Take care now.